is just be nice. Truly, the 11th commandment for today's religious-minded people, as I heard one fairly prominent denominational preacher say recently, it does seem like there are a lot of people who forcefully insist that everyone be nice to one another, and if we will comply, everything will be fine. And that sounds great, especially to Christians who see that idea in several forms in the New Testament. But the preacher went on to add that there are problems with the application because most people, including many professed Christians, aren't very nice in their effort to enforce it and blatantly ignore the other 10. This creates a conundrum for the faithful Christian. How do we call out the sin of not being nice without being, well, not nice? How do we point out the violation of the other laws of God and the general disregard for his will without risking the rebuke of, that's not nice? Even worse, how do we call out the rebellion against God's command to repent and be baptized for the remission of sins, Acts 2.38, without being hammered by that accusation? Well, we can't, especially if we accept the world's definition of not nice, which is saying anything they don't want to hear. Today's Sunday Struggles on Morning Minutes in the Bible deals with that issue by going back to the prophet Habakkuk. Remember, he was debating God in chapters 1 and 2 about his judgment on sin. Well, in chapter 3, Habakkuk has finally yielded to God's right to judge sin as he sees fit. Notice the acceptance first. Lord, I have heard the report about you and I fear. O oh Lord, revive your work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make it known. In wrath, remember mercy. Verse 2. But as we get into the description of God's judgment, we can understand Habakkuk's reluctance. In verses 3 through 5, we read things like, Before him, God, that is, goes pestilence and plague comes after him. By God's mighty power, mountains were shattered, hills collapsed, and the earth was cleaved. In God's wrath, people were under distress and trembling, and nations were trampled. God struck the head of the house of the evil to lay him open from thigh to neck and pierced them with his own spear. And the world responds with a collective rebuke. God, that's not nice. You need to observe the 11th commandment. Just be nice. All the while ignoring the first 10 by disrespecting God and using and abusing their neighbors. They clearly don't understand God or the depth of their sin. But are we who call ourselves Christians any better? How many of us are too busy being nice to preach God's judgment on sin the way Habakkuk did? Or even worse, to believe that it could fall on us? No, judgment isn't nice, but neither is sin. And unless we repent and turn away from our sin, we will come under God's judgment. Thank you for watching today's Sunday Struggles on Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until tomorrow, this is James McClenney, hoping you have a great day.